thanks for coming today. Yeah, it's all right. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, I had a job offer from a company, but they suddenly decided to rescind the offer. Wait, is that true? I remember you talking about how you got a job at a very prestigious company. Yeah, it is. And some of my friends from college who also applied there got rejected as well. W wait, really? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. I mean, I can't start looking for another job now, so I wanted to ask you what you think I should do, since you're my best friend. Is there any way I can still get a job somewhere? A way to get a job, huh? My name is Tsubaki. That's my friend from college, Mamiko, right there. She's telling me about what happened with her job offer. She's coming to me for help, so I'd love to help her out as best as I can, but... Uh, I wonder if there's some way I can be of assistance. Hmm... Uh, hey. Yeah, what is it? Your family owns Scotto Corporations, right? Well, yeah, but... Do you think you'd be able to get me a job there at one of your subsidiaries or something then? What do you say? Please? Our subsidiaries, huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. I'll talk to my father about it. Well, I'm so glad you're my best friend. I'm so glad I came to you for help. Well, I might not be able to make this happen for you, so please do keep that in mind. It's all right! If you're the one asking your dad, then it should be no problem. Oh, well, I'm so relieved. Thank you so much. She's convinced that she'll get the job, but I didn't promise her anything. My dad is a pretty stubborn person, so I'm not really sure how this will pan out. He's a tough man to convince. A few days later... I haven't gotten the chance to see my dad yet, and so I haven't been able to confirm anything with him. I gotta let him know. Well, well. We meet again, Tsubaki! Oh, hey, Ami! Hey, Tsubaki! We're here to embarrass you again! Oh, wow! So you're on her side today, huh, Suzu? My name is Kohanu, for God's sake! Oh, crap! Sorry about that. Alright, here's our plan for today. Come out, Masamune! Yep! W wait you're... You're the chef from Kigetuya, right? The famous sweets shop? That's right! Just wait here for a moment. Huh? What are you guys doing? All right, we're ready now. Here you go. Th this is... This is the Marimokori that everyone's been talking about! I've always wanted to have one of these, but my dad told me I couldn't have it because it had so much calories in it. Tsubaki, this is a Maritozo! You're the CEO's daughter, aren't you? You can't make a mistake like that! Oh, um, well, my apologies. All right, well, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, thanks, Masamune. Thank you very much. All right, let's eat then. Wait a minute. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Am I not going to get to eat the maritozo? Well, eventually, yes, but not now. Oh, okay then. I see how it is. You're going to keep the snack from me, aren't you, huh? No, we're not. Huh? I wanted to talk to you about Mamiko. About Mamiko? Yep. Tsubaki, you're... I heard that you were trying to secure Mamiko at a job at one of your companies. Oh, wow, that's pretty impressive. I can't believe you knew about that already. Well, I guess the rumors are true then. I would strongly advise against that. Huh? I am against the idea too. I am pretty sure that they made up what they said about getting into a famous company. They haven't done a lot to find a job and they've just been partying for a couple of months. And they found out recently that most companies were done recruiting, so they came to you to save themselves. Oh, I see. Yep, that's exactly right. So don't do it. Don't try to find a job for them. <sighs> but I already 
told her that I'd ask my father about it, so... But, but, but don't you want to eat this, Maritozo? Oh, God! Hey, that's not cool, Ami! Is what I'd normally say, but I'm actually on Ami's side today. B but I already made a promise to her, and she came to me for help, so... Marimakori, Marimakori! That's the uh, Marimakori, right? It looks delicious! Oh, hey, Mr. Leon! Oh, hey, Sabaki! Hey, Obsessed Girl! Hey, Suzu! Oh, God, not him again! Well, I can't really argue with that, to be honest. Huh? Are you guys not gonna eat the Marimakori? I guess no one likes it. But we can't just leave it hanging here. I guess I'll take care of it for you. Alright, this is gonna be so good! Hey, Leon! What the hell? No! Huh? What is it? I... I wanted to eat the Marimokoi. For the millionth time, Tsubaki, it's Maritozo! Get it right! Leon, you asshole! <laughs> You're so mean, Leon! This is low, even for you! I hate you so much right now, Leon! Huh? What What the...? This is the first time I've seen her that mad. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sabaki. I didn't mean to upset you. Here, I'll do whatever you want. Just name it. <laughs> Whoa. Leon's actually being apologetic. That's a first. Really? Yes, really! So please don't cry, Sabaki, please. Alright then. I want 100 Maritozos. 100? <laughs> uh, okay. I'll get them for you right away. Oh, I have one other thing. Give me your ear. Huh? Uh, okay. What is it? I'm all ears, so please don't cry. I wonder what she asked him to do. Maybe she wanted more maritozos? Alright, then let's go get those maritozos. Come on, Leon! I actually have a meeting right after this. <laughs> it's alright, you're always late to your meetings anyway. Come on now, let's go. But... God, this is such a drag. Fine, let's go! This is so unlike her, don't you think? Well, when she's in front of Leon, she sometimes acts like that. I wonder what it is. Bro, it's time for our meeting! Wait, huh? Wait, where's my brother? Tsubaki took her away. They went to buy 100 maritozos. What? But anyway, we have to do something about Mamiko. Yeah, you're right. I completely forgot about all that thanks to Leon. And so, I took Leon to Kigetsuya, and he bought me 100 maritozos! Ah, these are so great! My, my allowance for the month is all gone! It's so great seeing you get played around like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Leon, can I trust you to do the thing I asked you about? Yeah, I know. Just leave it up to me. Several weeks later. Tsubaki! What happened to the job offer thing I asked you about? Oh, well, I have a company that I can get you a position at. It's in the transportation industry. Really? Oh, that sounds great. Thanks. I'm so glad you're my best friend. Thank you so much, Tsubaki. You're the best. You sure you want to work there, though? They have good health care and everything, so it's not a bad place to work at, but... Of course! I'm sure that any place you recommend would be amazing. Alright then, I'll just hand you the company's pamphlets and whatnot just in case. It has all the information about the company's welfare programs and the salary listed on it, so do make sure to look through everything closely. Oh, thank you so much! I'll definitely look through it. But I wanted to ask you something. What is it? There's a company-wide function soon, and I wanted to ask if you were open next Friday. Next Friday? Yeah, I'm free. 
Oh, that's great. Then please come to the function next Friday. All right, gotcha. Well, I am so relieved. Thank you so much, Tsubaki. No, it's nothing. And on the day of the function. God, I am so drunk. <sighs> well, isn't drinking in the afternoon just the best thing ever? I know, right? Well, the only reason we get to do this is because we know we have a job lined up for us. <laughs> but we were drinking long before we secured a job offer. Yeah, she's right. But I can't believe Tsubaki actually got a job <laughs> for us. She's so gullible. Rich girls like her are so easy to manipulate. I just have to tell her that she's my best friend and that's all it takes to convince her. You're a genius, Mamiko. Terrible friends like you are truly the best. Yeah, I second that. Oh, by the way, wasn't today the day of the company function? Oh, crap, you're right. I completely forgot about it. Oh, well, I guess I could just not go. I'm tired and drunk, so... I mean, Tsubaki got me that job offer personally, so there's no way they can uh, rescind it, right? I guess you're right. I could just tell them that we all got sick or something. Yeah, good idea. Uh, oh, speak of the devil. I'm getting a call from the princess. Hey, answer it. I want to hear what she has to say. Sure. <laughs> I'll put it on speaker. Hello, Tsubaki. What's up? I'm at the company function right now, but I don't see any of you here yet. Did you guys get the time wrong or something? Oh, no, it's not that. We we know we're supposed to be there, but, well, <clears throat> we, we uh, all actually got a cold and... Oh, wow, that's terrible. Okay, no worries then. Please feel better soon. We'll take care of everything here. So please rest well. Thanks. I'm glad you understand. Can I get another beer? I'll grab a glass of whiskey. Hey, what do you want, Mamiko? Your glass is empty. I'll order something for you. Hey, I'm calling Tsubaki right now. <gasps> oh, crap, I completely forgot about that. Oh, shit, uh, I wonder if she heard us. I bet she did. Well, I guess we're fine, right? We're best friends after all. Ugh, she'll forgive us this time. Yup, you're right. Hey, did you hear all that, Tsubaki? Um, yeah, I heard everything. Well, to tell you the truth, I completely forgot that today was supposed to be the day of the function. <laughs> really sorry. And I'm drinking with the other girls that are joining the company right now, too. So can you please cancel our reservation there? C cancel Yes, please. Uh, if I need to pay any cancellation fees or anything, I'd appreciate if you could pay it for us. I mean, we're, we're best friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, then. You guys can't come then? <laughs> yep. All right then. I guess we'll have to rescind your offers. What? Rescind our offers? The offer we gave you was only temporary. Today was supposed to be the day of the company function, but you guys were also supposed to go through an interview. Wh what do you mean? Well, I ended up going to a business owner I knew of to ask him if he had any job openings. Not my father. And he said that he trusts me well enough to not conduct a formal interview process on you guys, and that he would see if you guys would fit in well at the company at the function. W w wait that's the first I've heard of this. So, I guess we'll have to rescind the offer we gave you. Alright, see you then. W wait a minute, please! We'll head over there right now. We're on our way, so please wait for us. We're going there. Y yeah, what other choice do we have? It's a company that Tsubaki personally recommended to us. It has to be a good company. We have to go or, or else we'll be jobless. But we're pretty drunk right now. Yeah, you're right. But we have to go. We have no other choice. 30 minutes later. <gasps> God, I'm about to throw up. Yeah. Me too! Tsubaki! We're here! Oh, you guys actually came. So, these are the-
are the friends that you were talking about. Yep, that's right. Huh? Who is this weird blonde dude? Tsubaki. You tricked us, didn't you? You were going to make us work at a company that a stupid looking dude like him was running? That really grinds my gears. Should we just beat her up or something? Yeah, we should. A stupid looking dude? What are you talking about? This is the CEO of the Ukumori group, Ukumori Leon. Huh? Ukumori Leon? That's the first time I've heard of him. Who is that? Don't ask me, I have no idea. Do you know him, Sara? Ukumori Leon. He's one of the Ugumori brothers that runs the Ugumori group. He's known for being stupid, but he has an exceptional talent at judging people's qualities and making them successful investments. He's the one that grew the Ugumori group to the global conglomerate that it is today! Why are you talking so much all of a sudden now? Wait, he was that big of a deal? Yep, that's right! And we can work for a dude like that? That sounds great! Yep, you said it. Well, Mr. Ugumori, whatever your name is, I'm looking forward to working with you. Huh? What are you talking about? What? I, I mean, we are here, so you're gonna let us in, right? Well, no, not at all. Wh what? You three smell like a bunch of rotten oranges. I don't care that you're Sabaki's friends. I can't let you guys join my company. I mean, are these even your friends, Sabaki? They're nothing like the obsessed girl or Susu! No, they're really not my friends. I mean, they came to me for help, so I wanted to do something for them. But I don't have the skill it takes to judge if they truly trusted me as their friend or if they were just trying to take advantage of me. So that's why I came to you. Hey, hey, Subaki, what the hell? Are you being serious right now? We didn't look for other jobs because you said you'd secure us a job. Oh, so you're blaming her now. What are you talking about? That's because you guys were too busy going to clubs and mucking around. Ami, Suzu. My name is Koharu. Wait, so we're going to graduate without having a job? D that's not fair. I mean, you brought this all upon yourself, to be honest. And you tried to take advantage of Tsubaki, so karma just got to you. So this is all your own doing. Oh yeah, we're here because our professor told us to tell you something. Huh? What is it? If you don't come to class today, I'm not letting you pass the class. Oh, but I, I guess class is already over, so it's too late now. W wait a minute. Does that mean we won't get the credits? And so we can't graduate? You could say that again. <laughs> well, that's great for you guys. You can spend another year playing around. That's not great at all. We've got student loans because we thought that the salary of the job you gave us would help pay for it. And our parents know that we've been playing around all year, so they won't be willing to pay for our tuition. Yup, that's right. But please, help us. We're best friends, right? Right? You know, you shouldn't really use that word lightly. My best friends are Ami and S <coughs> Koharu. They're the only best friends that I have. <laughs> Wait, what about me? <laughs> don't worry about it, Leon. Yeah, don't worry, Leon. Afterwards, Mamiko and her friends ended up failing one of her classes and they had to stay in college for another year. But their parents weren't willing to pay their tuitions, so they ended up having to quit school because their student loans were eating away at them. Now they're trying to pay off their debts through their part-time job at a convenience store. Well, I guess karma really did strike them hard. It's obviously their fault, but it's really depressing to look at. Thank you so much for everything, Leon. Hmm, but why did it have to be me? You have lots of friends, don't you? Because you were there at the right time. When I see you, I feel like I can trust you and rely on you. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, wait, the counts on my stomach is mooing. All right, I'm going to go eat some of those Mari Makori. Oh, come on, Leon. You mean Maritosos. Uh, wait a minute. Here. Huh? 
Huh? What is this? It's a bento box. I made it for you as a show of thanks. What? But I really wanted to eat a Mary McCurry. <laughs> okay, I'll eat it. I'll eat it, so please don't cry. All right. Here comes the airplane. No, I can eat the damn thing by myself. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop doing that, Sabaki. <laughs> Here you go. How is it? It's really good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Here you go. Come on. There's more on the way. Wait, you're feeding me too much at the same time. <laughs> what? Mamoru, please help me. I can take a picture of this and embarrass her, but I guess I'll leave her alone for now. Yep, we should. All right, there's more on the way. <laughs> Are you all right? What's going on? Uh, what? I brought tea with me as well. Come on, drink this. Oh my god, it's so hot! <laughs> I'm glad you're all okay now. My mother, please help me! <laughs> this is good for you. To teach you something. I'll be watching. No!